Good morning, good morning, good morning, gang, gang, gang. I'm going to have to come up with my own name instead of gang, gang, gang. I'm going to have to come up with honey. I like that, y'all. Hey, honeys. Honeys. That's what I'm going to do. Y'all my honeys. This is Mama Bree, and it is Wednesday, August 14th. 2019 and I'm on my way to work and um um Prissy P is dropping me off today um because I have we have appointments today um to get our hair done so she is dropped she's taking me to work today she has a little headache so I'm not gonna put her up here because she don't feel too great but anyway how y'all doing I just want to jump up here real quick um I just threw on a little jean dress this morning to come on into work because I'm only going to be here for about four, four or five hours. So I just threw on me a little jean dress and got my mule sandals on. My mule sandals on, you know, with the, the, the um, what you call that heel? What you call that heel, love? Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, these, these shoes. Oh, wedge and, uh, heel. The wedge heel. Yes, girl. Yes. I threw my wedge heels on today and I got this jean little dress on and I'm headed on in and so just want to jump up here real quick to say good morning and I really don't have much to talk about I'm just stuck in a little traffic right now I can't stand traffic I can't stand it but you know what every time I'm in traffic God moves the cars I tell I tell Prissy that all the time don't worry about the traffic God moves the cars he moves them when I'm in the traffic he moves it he does it always breaks up and I always tell her watch God just move because I trust him so much I just trust God so much I trust him and he's doing a beautiful thing in my life a wonderful thing in my life you know when God starts doing things in your life, he starts changing your heart. Oh, man, you can feel a difference. You know, things that used to make you angry don't make you angry anymore. People that used to make you angry, they don't make you angry anymore. When God is doing something in your life, you can feel a change in your heart. And I feel that change, you know, because I haven't always been perfect. You know, I had, you know, Mama Bree used to be a, a piece of work, and I am still a piece of work. Um, to, to a certain degree I'm not as bad as I used to be <clears throat> but um, I just don't take no wood nickels but I just know that God is doing a thing in my life for, for people for for his people you know just 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 giving me the love you know in spite of you know because it's hard to, it's hard to love people when they're mean to you and when they talk about you and do things wrong to you and when God start changing your heart and you can love people like that honey you know god is doing a new thing honey god is doing a new thing honey and i know he's doing that new thing in my life and i thank him and i praise him for that because i want to make it in heaven y'all i'm telling you i want to make it in heaven and i don't want to i don't want no ain't nothing worth nothing worth my soul ain't no i don't want to be unkind i don't want to be mean to people Cause it's just not worth my soul you know i want to go to heaven so god is doing a thing in y'all lives let him do it honey let him do it let him renew you and when you know god is doing a thing in your life like i said the things that used to anger you <clears throat> mm -mm, you have mercy on them things you just pity those things you pray for those things and you you still love those things those people but you know because it's, it's so hard you know just to be nice that's why you know God has to change you. That man, that 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 <clears throat> man himself can't change that. You can't change that. It takes God to change you, honey, from the inside. That's real, honey. That is real. That's the most the most realest thing ever. You know when God changed you on the inside. You know, a lot of people say, well, I try to be nice, or I'm I'm trying to do so and so. Uh-uh. When you trying, you better get you better pray and ask God to change that heart. Cause your heart is what it what is what matters, <clears throat> and that's what God is doing for me, y'all. Changing my heart every day I wake up, I just have a just a renewness in my heart, and I and I pray that too. I pray God just change my heart, Lord, so my heart can be more like You, because I, you know we got some ways. Sometimes we could be deceitful. That heart could be so deceitful and mean and full of malice. 
But when you start praying, praying specifically, Lord, <clears throat> change my heart. Renew a, a right spirit within me. Because it all starts with you. You know, it don't start with your mom or your daddy, your sister, your brother, your cousin, or your friend. It starts with you. And that's the prayer that I pray, that God just create a clean spirit within me and forgive me for things, for my sins, and just, just constantly ask for forgiveness. And I constantly pray, and I can feel it. Every morning I wake up, I just, I be so happy. Even in spite of my situation, in spite of me going through, I was speaking to one of my employees this morning, and I noticed that that I don't urinate like I used to. I used to have a little bit of residual, you know, when um, when I first started dialysis, but now I've noticed that I'm getting even more tired. And um, I said, wow, I've noticed that I'm not, you know, urinating as much as I used to. And um, so I'm retaining everything that I drink. It just sits in my body. And I don't, I'm losing that desire to urinate. And in spite of all that, you know, I still have joy deep down in my soul. I still have joy and that's nothing the man can give you because this is you know people will look at it as being very depressing you know being on a machine 70 hours a week you know being confined to one area every night and um, being hooked up to a machine from your belly to the machine you could only toss and turn so much you can only be on one side of your bed you know, and I've been doing that for six years. And people look at <clears throat> they look at it and say, oh, my God, I couldn't do that. Oh, my God. Oh, how you do that? But I know that it is nothing but the Lord because He's he just keeps me. He just keeps me in his perfect will. And I, work, I wake up every morning, and I'm just as happy. And I know that ain't nothing but God. I know that ain't nothing but God. Nothing but God. Because I get asked all the time, even with my employees, there's like, I have I hired new employees and they're like asking my older employees is she always this happy and they were like yes and we can't even we don't even understand why she always so happy all that she's going through but you know I know that's the Lord I know that is and I just I just try to remain positive and just give God all the praise and all the thanks and all the glory and I pray for how I want my day to be you know I don't want to be down because of my situation because some people got worse problems than me and even some people got worse problems than you you know your problem may be bad yep yeah, but somebody's doing worse than you so I just give God the glory and the praise through all of it through all of it and I'm just so thankful so I'm gonna hop up off of here and continue my journey to work and I just want to, like I said, just jump on here a minute and just share the goodness of the Lord with y'all because he is so good to me in spite of. And y'all just give him some glory, some some praises this morning. I love y'all. And if anyone out there that's going through any type of illness, just wake up and just give God the glory. Just start asking God to change your heart and asking God to renew your strength. And every day he'll renew your strength. He'll give you a, a, a new strength, a, just a new reason. So just get up every morning and just praise him. Even if you're feeling bad, throw your hands up. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I don't care what the situation may be. And I will I pray for you all. Y'all keep me in y'all prayers. I pray for y'all. I love each and every one of y'all that support um, Prissy P and Mama Bree. And just um, give give us good feedback and and just you know just converse with us and and just watch us. Um, I thank God for y'all, you know, and I hope that things that I say that it may touch your life for the goodness of the Lord, you know, because we all need to be saved. We all need to be filled with the Holy Ghost so that we could go back and be with Jesus. We all of us need that. All us all of us need salvation. You know, it doesn't matter who, what color you are. We all need Jesus. We need Jesus. We all need Jesus. You know, and we all need to pray for one another. Because we are our brother's keeper. We all supposed to help each other. So, pray for somebody today. Lift somebody up today. Encourage somebody today. And love, love, love on somebody today. I love y'all. 
and have a wonderful, blessed day.